farm hands, farmer Reefer, welcome back to the lab. So we have another great uh, episode for you guys. What I got in front of me right here is uh, the cleaner shrimp, the red skunk cleaner shrimp. These are a great uh, addition for your tank. They're like uh, the medic of the ocean. A lot of these cleaner shrimp, what they'll do is they're gonna set up shop, find a cliff in the, in your tank, and like in the wild as well, in the ocean. What they're gonna do is fish will come up, they'll even go inside the, the fish's mouth and pick out any uh, parasites or dead tissue in their mouth or even on their scales. It's amazing, these are definitely a must to have in your tank. Um, they're very, uh, you just gotta be careful with your nitrate levels as well guys. They're very, they don't tolerate the, those fluctuations in nitrates or in uh, salinity levels as well. Um, you can, you can supplement with like uh, meaty foods, like I use uh, Rod's food to feed these guys, so they'll definitely uh, enjoy eating those meaty foods as well. Like these ones here, they're very like a sought after in the trade. They have a lot of great personality in your reef, so you set them up and you feed them. A lot of times they'll feed you, you feed them right into your hand. They have a lot of great character, or sometimes they'll be right on, on the side of the fish, just uh, flying by. All right, so I'll bring you guys in nice and close. You guys can check these guys up personally, because you never know when I go to put them in the tank for the first time, they're gonna hide in the caves and stuff like that until they get used to their tank mates and their new tank and myself, they see me. All right, gang, so here's uh, the cleaner shrimps that you guys can see. I just fed them a little bit of Rod's food. They were just chowing down. You guys can see this one here. He's eating Rod's food right now. So let me bring you guys in closer. Keep it focused up here. You see that? So he's just feeding on Rod's food right now. I want them to feel comfortable before I put them in the new home, give them a little bit of a treat. So I got two more right here, as you guys can see. So they're looking really healthy. It's always great when you're alchemating them, take your time, you know, about an hour or more, make sure your salinity is the same temperature. You don't want to shock them. They don't like uh, fluctuations too much, but they're very healthy, as you guys can see. So let's get these guys in the tank. We're going two each. All right, so I got my green net. I'm gonna net a couple here for uh, the tackle on. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, he's still hanging on to Rod's food. You guys see him swimming down there right now? Let's see if I can get you guys in close here. Give me a second, he's right on the rock. There he goes. He's perfect. All right, let's get his buddy into the tank. There you go, he's in there right now. You guys can see. Let's see if we can follow him. There he goes. He's looking great. So you always want to make sure you keep all your elements in check. All right, your calcium, magnesium, and all that, because uh, they definitely, because they're going to molt. They always molt their new uh, skin when they shed it. So you always want to keep everything in check. So we got two into uh, Tatawan. So we got to move on to uh, Asgard and uh, Krypton and get the two into those ones as well. All right guys, so we're at the Asgard tank. So let's get the two uh, cleaner shrimp into that one as well. So we got the first one here, we got them netted. We're gonna put them in. So there's one. You guys can see him uh, moving around there. He's going in. I got the second one, he's coming. All right, so we got two in Asgard right now. Let's see if I can. You guys see him up there? He's floating around. There you go. So he's just sitting there on the pump. Lucky guy. Here's the other one there. He's, he's checking things out. All right, guys, so there he is. He's just hiding under one of the little cliffs right now. So a little bit of information about these guys. Well, like I say about the supplements, you want to make sure you keep your calcium, magnesium, iodine, and trace elements in there for his molting. Um, they originate from Africa, Indonesia, and Sri Lanka as well. Um, so they're going to set up that cleaning station to help your fish. They are very don't have any copper in there. They do not tolerate that at all. So you want to make sure you don't have any uh, copper going into that tank. Um, a couple of other things that they don't like as well, and the medications, high nitrate levels, make sure and stay that, fluctuating water parameters. So make sure you have an auto top up, they do not like salinity change as well. 
All right, and then if you uh, make sure you supplement their diets with uh, you can use, uh, you know, freeze-dried fruit, uh, shrimp, freeze-dried, or flake food as well, and we're feeding uh, all my uh, fish uh, rods food. So that's a little information about these guys. Definitely great to have. Um, you, they come in all the different sizes, and they'll grow up to at least about two inches. I find the smaller ones will definitely do a lot better of cleaning your fish as they get older. I find they get a little bit lazy and they don't clean as much. So the smaller ones are definitely the ones to start off with, guys, and they'll keep uh, your fish uh, parasite. Uh, free. All right, gang. So hopefully you guys learned a little information about the the cleaner shrimp. Definitely great to have in your tank. He's going to be a lot very beneficial. He's going to clean up all your tanks, keep them uh, pest free, and any dead tissue. All right. So hopefully you guys tune in next week, same time, same place. Make sure you leave your comments below. I'd definitely like to get back to you and chat with you guys about all different kinds of information. So if you guys could please subscribe and hit the like button.